friends, how are you? I'm so happy to see you. Greet your neighbor, boogie on down. Take a jump and turn around. Hi, everybody. How are you today, Adam, Iyad, Leanne, and Mayan? How is everybody doing today? Peekaboo! I see you. Tall ears, twinkly nose, tiny tail, and hop he goes. What is he? Can you guess? I feed him carrots and watercress. His ears are long, his tail is small. And he doesn't make any noise at all. Tall ears, twinkly nose, tiny tail, and hop he goes. What is he? A rabbit. Very good, he's a rabbit. Hello, bunny. He's a cute little rabbit. Look at his little paws. Very good. So we just sang the little song about a rabbit. And now I have a story about two little rabbits. In a meadow, two hares. That's another type of rabbit. But he has very long back legs and can jump very high. So two hares in a meadow. And this is written by Jennifer Batoli. In a meadow, it was morning. The tall grass shone in the early sun. A young hare hopped about the field. Her name was Mimo. She was hungry and it was time to look for food. Here she found the last of the summer's wild grapes. They were wet and sweet. Ooh, wet and sweet, yummy. Mimo ate many of the dark grapes. Then she hid in the shadow of the vine and watched the meadow around her. Down a small grassy hill, something moved. Mimo sat up, ready to leap away. Coming toward her was another young hare, all brown and white and furry. Oh, do you see in the grass? Deep in the sunny grass, Two hares looked at each other. Lipo, the other hare, put out a paw. Mimo's long ears went straight back. Oh, look. A little bit scary. But suddenly, Mimo's ears were up again. She sniffed the cool wind. Quickly, she sprang into the air. Lipo heard something, too. He turned towards the woods. There, only the tips of two pointed ears showed above the grass. <gasps> Can you see two pointed ears? All the way over here. What is it? Into the meadow, a fox had come. And when the fox saw Mimo and Lipo, the chase was on. The two hares ran, turning and darting to escape the fox. Their two white tails bopped up and down in the grass, and the fox followed them. Look, oh no, the chase is on. Mimo could feel the fox behind her. It was coming closer and closer, Ahead, she saw a thicket of sharp branches hanging low over the grass. She raced under them to safety. The fox was fast, but so was Mimo. Yay! Once more, the meadow was quiet. One dark eye peeked out from the thicket. Mimo was safe now. The fox had gone, but where was Lipo? Mimo sniffed the air and listened for him. 
the grass was still. She couldn't smell him. Mimo was alone. Oh no. Poor Mimo. Slowly, the warm days of autumn ended and the winter settled over the meadow. Mimo's fur grew thick to keep her warm. It was white now to match the quiet snow. Only the tips of her ears were dark. Mimo was always hungry, but she looked for food only at night or in the safe darkness of early morning. When light filled the sky, Mimo hid in her home in the snow. Early one morning, Mimo came to a path of new tracks on top of the snow. First, she touched the tracks with her nose. Then she raised her head and listened to the wind. These were Lipo's tracks, she could tell, and in front of her stood a winding line of trees. Lipo had gone around them. There were his tracks. Mimo followed the tracks and hopped around the trees too. Can you see the tracks? Yes! Lipo? Beyond the trees, Lipo was looking for food in the snowy field. Suddenly, an eagle flew across the morning sky. Lipo heard its wings. He looked up. The eagle saw him. Where could Lipo go? Oh no, Lipo! What's he gonna do? Uh oh! Lipo turned the sun and the eagle behind him and raced zigzag across the meadow. Snow sprayed up upon snow and made a fine white trail where Lipo ran. The eagle swept closer. Oh dear. Run, Lipo, run! Suddenly, out of the whiteness all around, jumped Mimo. Eagles and hares screeched in the cold, quiet air. With her strong hind legs, Mimo kicked the eagle. The eagle slipped, its sharp claws dug into the snow. Mimo and Lipo ran. This was their chance to escape. Woohoo! Run, Mimo and Lipo! In seconds, the eagle was up. It flew in great circles over the meadow, but already Lipo and Mimo were far away. The two hares ran until they came came to a clump of green bamboo growing in the snow. Here was food for them and a place to hide. And here Mimo and Lipo could rest at last. Now they were safe and together. And now that the snow has gone, the two white hairs become two brown hairs. And their fair changes color and gets ready for spring and we're going to see lots of Easter bunnies everywhere for the next two weeks because Easter is coming and that's a special holiday too. All right my friends have a great day. Bye!